Dear Uku partners and friends, your letters of compassion and support inspire us with great hope and gratitude for your reliable partnership. The situation in Ukraine is horrible. Our militaries and civil people are dying under enemy bombs and terrible sounds of the alarm system in the morning and night make us run and hide with our families in the shelters. In this situation, when many people in Ukraine feel constant anxiety and fear, we are trying to inspire optimism and hope. Today, it is significant for us to be in an island of stability for all. God is merciful. The whole Ukraine is teeming up to resist Russian aggression. But is it enough to stop the war with one of the largest world military powers? Elimination of the main variable of this war requires everyone's help. Every one of us who believes in democracy, dignity before God and humanity. We have to unite as a world to stand against aggression. The academic community holds an unprecedented amount of political and social influence. You can make a difference. The inaction of universities, as well as their cooperation with the aggressor states, legitimizes the power of such regimes and their actions. The university must show its support for victims of this unprovoked war, which is unleashing a humanitarian crisis. Therefore, we are requesting you to join other opinion leaders across the globe to stand with Ukrainian people in the defense of our lives, the well-being of our families and the security of our sovereign land. The key aim of the Russian attack is not only to size Kyiv and to shift Ukrainian legitimate authorities, but to prove the savage idea that democracy is not working, that it is weak and the global order has collapsed. We should unite all our efforts to stop it now. Please approach your national governments with the following appeals. The first one, we ask to daily condemn the aggression on all and any diplomatic platform in any international organization. We ask for financial and humanitarian assistance, weapons, petrol and equipment for Ukraine. We ask also to lobby for devastating sanctions on Russia, including a swift cutoff, embargo on the import of Russian oil and gas, freezing of Russian state assets abroad, closing ports and airports for Russian ships and planes. To stop the war, the world needs to introduce sanctions with immediate effects. Every day of delay means simply the deaths of innocent people. We ask to completely block Russian state media in your countries. They spread lies, propaganda and poison your countrymen and countrywomen. We ask to lobby for a no-fly zone over Ukraine. This practice was used in Libya in 2011 when NATO suspended all flights over the country's territory. And this measure should be introduced to protect Ukrainian civilians from Russian jets, Russian drones and Russian missiles. We ask you not to allow a naval blockade of Ukraine, since it will jeopardize not only the Ukrainian economy, but also the food security of many countries of the region. And we ask you to force Russian troops to leave the Chernobyl zone in order to avoid another global ecological catastrophe that they can cause. His Beatitude, Sviatoslav, says, Our Ukraine, which the world fairly called lands of blood, which has been so many times sprinkled with the blood of martyrs and fighters for the freedom and independence of its people, 
calls us today to stand up for it, to defend it, its dignity before God and humanity, its rights for existence and the rights to choose one's future. So we really hope for your support. Do a change now.